Where am I going? Where am I going? Where am I going? Where am I going? So I'm on my way to go pick up my little kitty cat. This is all I've been looking forward to for the past month or so. I have been looking all over the internet for a cat. I have been on Pet Finder like every single day and would just scroll scroll for hours sending in applications i found a lot that i loved but a lot of places won't give you one unless you already have a cat at home or a lot of people are adopting right now so a lot of those cats were just getting adopted left and right but one day i found this little kitten her name is nancy and i actually met her two weeks ago, Ethan and I did, and she is such a little sweetheart. I just fell in love with her, and I've been watching videos that I took of her over and over and over again, just so excited to finally get her, and we're on our way to go pick her up. My mom and I actually went to PetSmart earlier, and I got a bunch of stuff. I still have stuff that I need to get, so we do need to stop at a pet store on the way home. This shit's expensive. Just so you guys know, being a mom, expensive. I am about to basically pick up my child. Like I'm basically giving birth right now. I'm in labor, giving birth. Okay, all right, we're here. I guess, I guess we just go get her. Okay, we got her. She's so cute and so sweet. So she got spayed today. She also, they found a worm when they were in there, so they had to deworm her as well. So little girl has been through a lot today. I don't know. I don't know if she want me to like pick her up. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I'm nervy. I'm gonna open this up. Maybe she'll wanna say hi. I don't know. Do you wanna come out? Can I hold you? Oh. Oh my goodness. <gasps> she is. You are so sweet. Hi, little lady girl. Okay, I'm gonna put you back in here. But I wanted to show you guys everything that I got from PetSmart. A little kitty haul. Oh, there she is. Hi, little girl. We got her these little bowls for her food and her water. They're so cute. Have little fishies on them. And then her foster mom said that she really likes the fancy feast, anything grilled. So we got the variety pack for her to try out, see what she likes. Where are you going, Sissy? And then we got you some toys. Do you want to see your toys? We got her a little avocado. Do you like a little bell? Do you like it? Why don't you go get it? Okay. <gasps> she likes it. She loves it. Of course, we had to get her a little sticky toy with the things. Honestly, cats will play with anything. Obviously, you still got to get them some, some fun toys. Do you like this? <gasps> Do you like this, baby? Oh, oh, she likes it. And then it came with like two other little attachments for it. Stop it, stop it. No, don't stop, but like, stop. This is too cute. Got her a little brush. We got her a little collar. We got one with a bell, and I wasn't sure if I was gonna put it on her, but about a half hour ago, couldn't really find her. She went back under the bed, but I was like, you know, freaking out a little bit. Where did she go? I got litter liners. Don't know why I got these. Don't know if I need these, but it seemed like something I should get. I got a litter, a litter genie. Being in an apartment, I think this will come in handy because I won't have to like go out to the trash chute and throw out her poop every single time I clean her litter box. But that's our little kitty haul. I'm gonna try to feed her. The foster mom said she might not be too hungry, but she's running around. She's working up an appetite. I came back, I had a baby. I did the mother thing. See, she hungry. This 
So it's like two days later. Sissy and I have just been getting to know each other so well, learning her personality. She's definitely opened up a lot. She's not hiding as much. She loves her cuddles and her loves and also loves playing so much. She's an active little kitty. But when you start petting her, she just loves to get loved on, don't you baby? We kind of had a little bit of a rough morning, did we not? Sissy girl here decided to go in her litter box and then run across the comforter after she stepped in poop. We had to strip the bed and wash the comforter and it was, it was a bit of an interesting morning. Also, she has been sneezing a lot because she had an upper respiratory infection and I think it flared up this last time she was at the vet. She's been sneezing, so we're just keeping an eye on that for now. Okay, there's Izzy. Oh, okay, little girl. Her and Ethan have been having a lot of little bonding moments. He's he hasn't had a cat ever and both nights she slept with us in bed she didn't give us a problem at all like she literally just slept through the whole night with us which was great i still haven't named her i can't i just how do parents name their children like how, what am i gonna do when i have a child like a human child i'm gonna change their name like 20 times how do you choose just one i can't choose my top favorite so i'm gonna show you guys my list and you let me know what you guys like even if i choose one and i end up liking another one like i am fine with changing her name she's she, she doesn't know all right honey so here we are let's let's give them our list number one which was the first name that i like wrote down and liked i actually found a cat on pet finder that was named this and i really liked it first choice is raya i really like this name because it kind of sounds like ray of sunshine and that's my brand that's our brand next one i like is fig I don't know, Fig was also one of the first names that I wrote down. I just think it's so cute. And I love Figs and Fig Bars. Next one is Junie. I love Junie because Ethan and I always call each other Bug, like Love Bug, and I think Junie Bug is cute. So, little Junie, little Junie girl. Next one is Lemon, because I kind of got it from Clementine. I also had this one on the list, but I think Clementine is too long for a kitty, because I feel like I'm never gonna call her Clementine. Like, I'm always just gonna call her Clem or Clemmy or Lemon. I like Sage. I've always liked the name Sage. And obviously we love Sage Green. So I think that's a cute one. And then lastly, I have a couple names that revolve around the sun and sunshine. So obviously one of them is Soul. I also like Ori, like Oriana. Oriana also is a name revolving around the sun. Lumi, like illumination, illumination. And the last one on my list is Mir. I really like this one because I don't know anyone named Miri and you can say little Mir or Mir Bear So that's my list of names. Let me know in the comment section what which ones you guys like I am leaning towards a couple different ones, but like I said, even if I choose them we can switch it again I don't know. All right now. Let's talk about something so I haven't really said why I got a cat and why I wanted a cat. I've always loved cats. My first word was cat, actually. I had fallen in love with my aunt's cat that was named Tiger. Tiger like started my obsession with cats and then I just wanted a cat for my own. And then when I was six, I had just turned six, my dad and my brother and I went to Ralph's to go grocery shopping and we were leaving and we saw a cart full of kittens. They were all black cats except for one kitten in there that was a bunch of different colors and when I was six I said that she just had a bunch of patches all over her I threw myself on the floor like full-blown tantrum and this was so not like me like my mom told me I was not one to like throw tantrums like that but I freaked out we even went to the car and I was still freaking out crying in the parking lot and my dad went back and was like give me that freaking cat <laughs> and he got her and we went home he called my mom and was like get cat food get kitty litter on your way home and my mom had like no idea obviously she just heard this little kitten crying in the background from that day from when I was six years old my cat patches has been my best best friend I mean she has been the first thing that I go to when I get home from when I was six from when I was 22 first thing I go to when I get home first thing I run to when anything bad happens when anything good happens I just I go to my cat but I feel like I don't even have to say it because you always see. 
no. I didn't know when I would be like ready to tell you guys about this. I, I knew I never would be ready. She passed away a couple of months ago and I literally just felt lost without my cat. I felt like a little piece of me is missing. I don't remember life without my cat. She's just always been there. I'm still grieving her and I miss her every single day. But just from the few days that I've had my new kitten, it's been very healing. In a lot of ways, her personality and things that she does just like reminds me of Patches. And it makes me sad, but it also makes me happy because she reminds me of her and, and how much I love her and how much light and joy and love she has always brought into my life since I was six years old. There's been a lot of emotions the past couple days, a lot of emotions in this video, but I am glad that I told you guys. Sorry to leave it off on that note, but we're just gonna keep hanging out, us girls. Obviously expect more kitty content in the next vlogs and on my Instagram story. It's been so hard to not post little pictures of her and videos of her. Okay guys, I hope that you enjoy watching today's video and welcome to the little family, little girl. What's your name? I have no idea, but help, help us figure it out. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you, we will see you in our next video.